Hey everybody, what's going on? Listen, welcome back. It's Jessica and Harris here and we are back with another video today. Oh my goodness, I'm so pumped. I'm so excited to see each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Listen, y'all already know this channel is about keeping you encouraged on your faith walk journey of love, life, and truly everything in between. So let's get into this video. So all weekend, I've been thinking about different pieces of like testimonies for real, for real, about just like where things were last year, where I am now. And just like, come on, God, I know there's more to share. So what else can I come up with right now to really just keep out encouraged? And what was coming to me a few times was the tornadoes that I had experienced. Now, maybe you're not experiencing an actual tornado right now in your life, but maybe you are going through a storm of sorts, right? We're all human. So there's all types of tribulations. There are all types of trials that we experience as believers in a general sense. So one of the storms that God gave me was my very first tornado. Now, that tornado, I think I did a reel on it where you hear like the blaring alarm take place and I was spooked. I was like, yo, what is this? And not only did you have that blaring tornado alarm going off, but it was also the fact that we even had a big alarm that went off on the phone and the alarm was stating that you're right now in the middle of a tornado and that you need to take shelter in place. When I say, I was like, what you mean there's a tornado? And what you mean I got a shelter in place? Y'all, God is so good though, because not only did I get that alarm, after i left where i was at but god is just amazing because this is the part right when i left the area that i was at from the airbnb that i was staying in i had no idea that there was a tornado that was even forming i had no idea that there was even a tornado that was actually going to be coming from that direction so when i left early that morning to start my day i was already miles away when my friend called me, I was telling her like, girl, it's telling me to shelter in place. And her very question was, can you go back to where you were? Well, after we looked online, we realized I couldn't go back to where I just left. Why? Because that's where the tornado was coming from. That's where it was starting in. Nothing but God. He literally ushered me out from where I was into a safer place. Now, granted, I did have an alarm where I was currently located, but I was able to actually reach safety in the midst of that. And let me tell y'all, that's nothing but God, for real, because I was literally sitting there. Hold on, y'all. There's some sirens. All right, they done, I think, for a second. But anyways, I was really sitting there looking at God like, what are we supposed to do? One moment, y'all. These sirens is crazy. Nothing like trying to record outside in the elements, right? Anyways, so yes, dealing with that part there, I'm telling y'all, I don't know about you, but I personally have never experienced a tornado before in my life. I'm from the East Coast, more specifically in the New England area. And you don't get tornadoes. You don't get tornado warnings. None of that stuff takes place out here. Yes, we get snowstorms and foolishness like that, but that's it. So to sit there and have my alarm blaring about a tornado, I'm like, y'all, I've seen the movie Twister, right? I've seen what it looked like on the news when tornadoes be ripping through areas. And I was like, ain't no way in the world I'm about to have to experience this. And I was looking at God like, God, you got me out here. You sent me here. I'm here for you. What we about to do, God? Because I'm looking like I don't have no friends here. I ain't got no family here. Like, what we supposed to be doing in this case? Listen, I ain't have a place. Like, what in the world? It was just me and my car. And I was looking like, yo, where are we going? So my friend, y'all, I thank God for blessing friends like her, for real, for real, because she looked up a place and she was like, all right, is there like a Walmart? Is there like a store that you can go to? And sure enough, there was. So the store had to be like five minutes away. Praise God. I went over to the store. I parked in the parking lot and the wind was just swooshing like the wind was just sweeping back and forth you could see it in the trees you could just see it the way the rain was coming down it was just pouring down so heavy and i was in the parking lot and i was sitting in my car and i was debating like do i just sit in this car and weather the storm or do i actually go inside the building y'all i sat in that car for a few minutes and i was looking like okay it doesn't make sense to get swooped up in a storm, right? Because if there's a tornado that's blaring outside and you're outside in the elements, you're most likely going to get swooped up with it. So it didn't make sense for me to stay there where I was. It made more sense for me to go for cover and go inside of a building. So that's what I did. I took shelter in the building and I left my car, I left all my belongings and was just like, God, at this point, I have to trust that if you're allowing me to find shelter, that my car is going to be safe. Because the realistic was this. I only had the vehicle. That was the only thing that I had. And that was the only way that I was able to get around. And I literally 
had to do nothing but put all my trust in the Lord and believe by faith that by the time I get back outside, the same car and the same way it was outside when I left, it will be the same way upon my return. Well, glory be to God. I was able to go back to my vehicle and my car was safe and sound. I had to be in the store for about 45 minutes waiting it out with everybody else. And you know what's the crazy part? Was that I walked in that store, I was a nervous wreck. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a whole tornado, X, Y, and Z, I can't believe this. And let me tell you, the people in the store were so calm. They were so content. They were just like another day in the park type of thing. They weren't even bothered by this tornado. They were just like, oh, well, there's another tornado. And I was looking like, how can you be so calm in the midst of a storm? But they were. Now, some of them were sheltering in place because, you know, it was pouring like ridiculous out there. But it was the fact that nobody was panicking. Nobody was trying to run away. Nobody was doing any of those things. They were just looking at the storm and watching it as it passed by. They were able to remain calm in the midst of the storm that was taking place even saying that right now out loud just sounds so prophetic like they were able to be calm in the midst of a storm as it passed by them and that's literally what happened so y'all in the midst of your storms whether it's physical storms that you're in whether it's storms that are taking place in your daily lives because we all have them trust and know that if god is allowing you to go through it he has led the way ahead of you he has already gone before you he has already created a path for you to get through in this case yes i was in an unfamiliar place yes i didn't have like my friends my family here with me but god still sat there and protected me and he kept me and even for you guys who may be having to go into a place that you've never been before or maybe you're experiencing something that you've never done before right god has already gone before you so even when you aren't sure how it's gonna work out i want you to trust and believe by faith that he has already prepared that place for you and he already has safety in mind for you too so i hope this encourages you it definitely was encouraging me to continue to hold on y'all yes nothing like trains y'all in the new england area for real for real trains stay going through but yes, I hope this encourages you to know and to trust and believe that he has you. It doesn't matter if you're in a brand new area. It doesn't matter if you're not familiar with, you know, the things and like that that's over there. God knows you and he knows the area and he knows the plans that he has prepared for you. Therefore, everything is already set forth. So continue to allow him to order your steps and move in the ways and places of where he's leading you to. I had no idea that day that when I left that early in the morning that I was already heading to a place of safety. I had no idea. And yet God already knew. I'm just saying. So peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to connect with me further in the comments below. Ladies who are faith driven in Christ, who are ready to amplify their voices and share your story. I want to welcome you to the Facebook community, Igniting Your Glow with Jess. That information is also in the link below. And if you are someone who is writing a book, or maybe you're someone who has a story to share, and maybe you're already in the midst of it, and maybe you want some one-on-one -on -one time with me, then I encourage you to set up an empowerment call below as well and submit your manuscript let's connect and let's get you published because it's time for your voice to be heard in places and spaces that you have yet to step foot in so i'm just i'm out i hope you guys have an amazing day peace and blessings